There's going to be a changing of the guard, and uh, when when I was honored with this position, the deal was that it was for an 18-month stand, and that has come to an end, and everything's back on track. Hi, I'm Alejandro Rojas with Open Minds, and I'm here at the Mutual UFO Network's annual UFO symposium this year held in Las Vegas, Nevada. The theme for this year's event was Science, UFOs, and the Search for ET. It was also announced at the opening banquet that there'll be a new international director, Jan Harzan. I'm really excited and humbled to be the seventh executive director of MUFON. The main thing I'd really like to focus on for MUFON moving forward is really three things. The first is we really need to be more social. Uh, we need to have social media presence with uh, folks out there. We need to have easy access to our sighting reports uh, for people to be able to look at them, to determine them. Um, not just IFOs, but we really want to get it boiled down to the real UFOs. And so we have a work underway right now by our science review board to actually cull through the 800 or so reports we get a month and boil it down to the significant few so we can actually make those the center point of MUFON. Um, we really need to take away the stigma that MUFON is the, somehow the secretive organization that hides things. So we need to really do the analysis, and that's what's being done right now by our science review board to go through this and to publicize uh, the real hard cases that show that there's something extraordinary going on in our skies. One of the more exciting developments this year has been stronger international branches for MUFON, including a formal working relationship with France's official UFO research organization, JPAN. Well, actually, David McDonald has done a terrific job reaching out to our neighbors in France and Italy. He's going to actually be our international ambassador to those organizations. So uh, we've just announced that Jacques Patinet is the new lead for MUFON France. Jacques came from Japan and was the last leader there. So there's a tight connection now between MUFON and Japan, uh, which is the UFO reporting agency for the European Space Agency in France. Japan is a small department, as I said, of the French Space Agency dedicated to collect information about UFO sightings, to try to make analysis of these cases, to classify them into four classes. The class A is surely identified, B is probably identified, C is a big class which contains all cases for which there is not enough data to do any serious jobs, so nothing can be said, it can be true, not true, whatever. And D is the unidentified phenomena, which recently have been subdivided into D1 and D2, D1 being things which are strange, with a medium consistency. Consistency is the, 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 the strength of the case in terms of number of witnesses, in terms of uh, additional data, such as pictures or radar traces or things like that. And the D2, the ultimate class, is the one of very strange and very consistent. We have a, a good working relationship, and I, I think that the, the French guys who were part of JPON, as long as they feel that they're dealing with people, you know, firmly rooted in science. I think they're comfortable with that. And we plan on sharing that type of information with them, uh, how we do uh, field investigations, such as our field investigation manuals. Um, so, and, and we have a lot to learn uh, from the French also. We were very fortunate that Dave McDonald was able to go to France and basically collaborate with them in, in person and build this alliance governments around the world. They're actually coming to us. They're asking, will you help us put together our investigative manuals? How do you handle the media? How do you handle this? And many of them said, will you work with us because your own government won't? And yes, we are. Um, I have met with the heads of the European Space Agency the head of the French Space Agency, Japan, Ecuadorian Air Force, Brazilian military. I mean, it's just incredible the response that we have on, on, a global, on a global basis. And that's, to me, that's my shining moment. That's, that's my contribution. And I'm darn proud of the, the strides that we have made. 
The attendance at this year's symposium is higher than it's been in years, and Dave McDonald said he's thrilled with the turnout. We got a lot of great interviews, and we'll be posting those at the Open Minds YouTube channel, so stay tuned. In Las Vegas, Nevada, I'm Alejandro Rojas with OpenMinds.tv.